Okay, here we are today with something very special. This is uh, very proud and uh, honored to be able to show you this. This is the prototype for Captain Slug's new blaster, Esper. Uh, you may be familiar with Captain Slug's work as he is the designer of the Caliburn. And he now has a more compact uh, pistol that's going to be coming out really soon. So, and he was nice enough to send me the prototype to show off for you guys. So, we have a, instead of being spring powered, we are powered by, and the E and Usper for the elastic bands here. There's three of them. And so obviously you could adjust the power of this blaster based on the number of bands and how tight you have them tied. And it feeds, as I prime it, which this is the priming handle. So it locks back and is designed to use your standard half length dart mags have katanas load up with worker darts. Load that in, close the breech, and you can see the dart in the chamber right there. And we are ready to fire. Now, if you're going, oh man, top prime, I'm real not a fan of top prime, uh, that's fine. I understand a lot of people aren't. And uh, Captain Slug does too, so in true Captain Slug fashion, there are lots of add-ons, so this is just a base pistol, um, has a sling attachment point on the back, and this one has the optional muzzle installed on the front here with the cool looking teeth thing. This is actually very reminiscent of the uh, Alien Menace line, uh, if you remember those, but so you can also get it with a extended barrel and a uh, pump kit, so that's very cool. Be excited to see those come out. Um, they should be hitting from what I understand, most of your favorite uh, Nerf YouTubers have already ordered one up, so there should be plenty of Esper content coming your way pretty soon. But uh, for now, let's just see what this one can do. So, got it loaded up again with the white, and as you'll be able to see really quick, I'm in a parking lot today instead of on the field because this is the Northeast and it snows. So white darts and a snowy field, we would never find them. So gonna make do, and it is actively snowing right now, but here we go. Laser straight. Gotta love it. I think I aimed a little low on that one. Now, of course, as you're seeing here, as we're firing, because it's pavement, and why I don't like testing on pavement is the darts are bouncing from when they initially hit a little bit further. So, but this is just to give you an idea what we're working with here. Oh no, still got some more. Nice. Let's just keep her going. And now this does feature an O-ring on the bolt right here. And Captain Slug did say that if you take this off, it'll slightly reduce uh, the FPS. So if you need it to, um, if you're going to a game that has a lower FPS cap, you can bring that down. And that'll also bring the ranges down a little bit but for the purposes of just our little preview video today who wants to see the less powerful everyone wants to see what this thing can really do oh i think yep okay and no shot and so it's nice you can easily just bring it back pull the trigger and d prime oh, there we go d prime so let's go see how Esper did. And I will make sure to post links to uh, Captain Slug's Etsy page in the description so you can go and order up one of these for your very own. So, and you can see they're just, all of them fired right down the center. Um, so here's our lowest couple. And again, uh, it was probably just as much due to me aiming versus what it did, but that's between 65 and 66 feet. Got another couple working our way up. Got the middle here, and again, all nice and down the center. 
Gotta love that accuracy. And so I'm gonna call the middle. And remember they did bounce a little bit, but so we'll give it the range of 79 to 80 feet. We have our top ones out here. And this is our farthest one. Upside of the pavement, very easy to find the darts. So that is our top shot. And that is sitting on 96 feet. So 96 feet in the snow so the darts are shrunk a little bit, not getting as good. Um, honestly, if you're doing this in more ideal conditions, I bet it'd go even farther. But for something that that small, operating on some elastic tubes and you're hitting 96 feet, that, that is pretty awesome. So there you go. That is your preview of Esper. Again, keep an eye out for all the other videos that should be coming up on other channels soon. As always, thanks for watching.